What's up, guys? Welcome to the Europa Super League, and we're back here. <laughs> <laughs> the European Super League. You know, no, 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 no. Scrap all that. Are PSG even part of it? Uh, they didn't want to take part, so listen. clearly. No, no, no. We're not talking about the European Super League. We're done with that. Don't want to hear that no more. Let's talk about the main competition, the best competition in the world, club wise. The Champions League and it's semi-final time and two very, very, very tasty semi-final clashes. And, and the, we're going to start off with the first one is Real Madrid against Chelsea. Now, this is the first time it's happened in the Champions League. Yeah, so they've only faced up in, in them competitions and they've never played in the Champions League. The last time that they played, the game finished 1-0 to Chelsea. And Chelsea played them three times and are unbeaten against Real, like, like Real Madrid. And maybe that could play a factor in the game but the fact of the matter is they haven't played in like what 25 years but well, we love yeah. it but but yeah let's get into it and how do you think this game is going to go I think it's going to be very narrow margins I think uh, both teams will look at it from they're not afraid they'll respect but not be afraid of the opposition either I see Chelsea having no reason to be afraid to come and take the game to Madrid um, Chelsea have had a strong enough defence especially after two children's joined. So I think they will not be the easiest team to break down. Whereas if we're looking at the Liverpool game, you could see the weak spots in the makeshift centre-back pairing with Kabak, Phillips, and then you also had Trent Alexander-Arnold, who is a liability in defence. Whereas Chelsea, they have uh, what Thiago Silva, they have Rudiger, they have Christensen, they have Zuma, they, they have a very solid back three and their wing backs are very industrious we have a what um chill reese james as well so um i think this will be a much harder game i don't think there'll be too many goals i think both um both teams will be a bit stoic at first i think madrid will have a lot of the ball will control a lot of possession but chelsea will be deadly with a counter attack with verna and zh attacking um wide and down the middle as well so i don't know i i'm just interested with with the way zidane sets up because there's rumors where he doesn't know whether to play a back three or play the normal 4-3-3 because if he plays a back three i think he has to play marcelo which is something he i think he's reluctant to do because of the way the uh, wing backs especially with james would expose marcelo so I'm really interested to see the way Zidane sets up. This, to me, is the most 50-50 game that like we can possibly mm. predict. I don't think that there's a team that goes into there as a favourites or even slight favourites because either team hasn't really been striking up trees and making you feel like, wow. Real Madrid has had some amazing yeah. moments this year, but overall this yeah. season, at times, it's just, they're just you want that bit more. Chelsea, you know, they've been through the trials and tribulations with Frank Lampard and now... Uh, Tuchel's coming and steady the ship, but at times with, with Tuchel, you feel he doesn't wow you. Chelsea are efficient and they yeah. get results, but they don't wow you. So this is so this is why it's such a like hard game to predict. But also you mentioned too, what happens with the squads? What type of team are we going to see from both sets? You mentioned what like Real Madrid might do with with like three at the back. We know who will play in the middle, and, and I'm guessing we know who will play up front, but what's going to happen with the players at the back, but also with Chelsea, what are they yeah. going to do? Are they going to set up with I Jorginho, so. and, yeah. and, 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 I, and I actually want to play, or are they going to go with, with uh, Kovacic and uh, Kante, and actually want to take is the it, game? Isn't uh, Kovacic out or suspended? One of them. Is he? I'm, I'm, not too sh I'm not sure if he will be playing. I'm not too sure, but I know Kovacic might be out for the game. But do you think Tuchel will, will be willing to risk playing Jorginho in this game in, in maybe um, the likelihood of trying to dominate uh, Real Madrid in the middle, which Liverpool did that and they weren't successful at it. In, in my opinion, Liverpool have overall yeah. better... Like, player-wise, they're better like footballing players than Chelsea in the middle. I feel like Chelsea should base them midfield on the fact like they have work horses who who like to like who is gonna yeah. work can sit back and, and also can withstand pressure and like and I like, can also can catch uh Madrid on the bake. So I'm not sure how they're gonna set up there, but I don't know how like 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 how would you feel about the setup? So I think obviously Kante is for sure a starter because they need that workhorse to try well, well, like pressure on Modric Cruz toe to toe with you and try to play 
I don't think it's gonna work out for, for them. You have too many good yeah. footballers in the like like in the middle of them. So many. Chelsea do what yeah. they do and have like the two sitters who are willing to work. I feel like I feel like that's a lot better. And also Mason Mount fits like you you like you have three players. You have, you you have, you have three musketeers. Mason Mount with that extra bit of bit of quality, but but can also work. Yeah. You know. So you're gonna see. Uh. So so you see the three in the middle just work a little bit harder, shifting side to side, not willing to let Real Madrid break. Uh, uh, like break through them and actually play in between the lines. Yeah, Chelsea play a three four one two, isn't it? So would it be so it'll be three the three centre backs? Yeah. You have the wing backs. Yeah. And then you have the CMs or CDMs. Yeah. yeah. Mason Mount in front of them, or and then Ziyech and Werner. I would like to think he would play Mason Mount in front of him, but what he could do in this situation is flip it because he's done a few times this season and have Kai Havertz in the middle. And like, so like, 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 no, like so, a false so, so, yeah. So Kai Havertz in a, in like in a false line with with like Mason. I think Mason Mount is a shoe in to play. He would like like he would definitely play. Werner has hit, yeah, probably like his highest bit of form and like his highest bit of confidence for Chelsea. So he will play. Yeah. But the question is like, where yeah. will he play? Because I because I could see a thing where he goes Kai Havertz, um, Z H. Werner, Werner White. Yeah, and and he goes for Werner White. Werner White. I, I, I don't think Chelsea's... I'm making a bold prediction. I don't think the attack will be too much of a problem. Do you know what it is? Chelsea's, so. Chelsea's attack is not one that is going to overwhelm you. But but I'll tell you what, they, but tell you what they're going to be good at. They're going to be efficient. They might not get that many shots on Tiger, but the ones that they do get, I feel like, yeah. like, I feel like it would be effective. Like, just the way that they set up against Man City, low block, uh, willing to hit them on the break and like Real Madrid they also play uh, like yeah. high line and they can get at like you know players like Varane players like ben, um yeah. who else Militao. who else like Militao but yeah it's this like this game overall is a tough one to predict because because yeah. like we like we could say who we have right now and like we'll watch it and it'll go the completely other way because both sides ain't like there, there isn't an overwhelming favor overwhelmingly overwhelming like, favorite, yeah. like 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 back in the day when like real madrid were at the real madrid barcelona were at the heights of heights and, and they were yeah. the best they, they, it wasn't like that but i just feel with that champions league pedigree with that experience in big games this season i think real madrid is gonna do it why I look back to what has happened throughout this whole season. Now, the big game in the Champions League where like you're facing knockout, where, where like you're, you're facing el- elimination against Munchen Gladbach into yeah. Milan. What happened? You guys came up trumps. Yeah. Big, big game. Away to Barcelona, came up trumps. You were the first team to beat Atletico uh, Madrid this season. In the season. Beating Liverpool. Like the biggest games, this team has showed up. And as you said, Zidane, when he says it's a final, you know what for yeah. me you know um, what's gonna happen what i think is i think generally madrid the quality in the team i think answers chelsea's quality no disrespect to chelsea i think they're great as a team they're very efficient but with the firepower we have we have especially with hazard coming back i know he probably won't be starting but you have you have your benzema who i i doubt he'll start i don't think it's a game he'll start but i think he'll get a good amount of minutes at least for the first leg. I think the second leg, um, he probably would start so long as everything has been going well. Um, with um, Sergio Ramos as well, coming back for the second leg, Danny Carvajal back at right back, which is helping a lot. I think the quality in Madrid will overcome Chelsea's hard work and efficiency. And you mentioned it, Eden Hazard. This guy has been through hell and back at Real Madrid. It's about time he shows up and shows... Uh, the price stack that like the like Real Madrid yeah. bought him for. This could be the game. Imagine he does it against his ex, like uh, like yeah. his ex team. But on the other hand, Chelsea are gonna look at this and be like, I know I love the history, but 2012 yeah. they sacked their manager. They go on this crazy run and win the Champions League, and it feels like that. You know, it really does feel like because they were generally going absolutely nowhere so, with, with Frank Lampard. So if you if you there's been some threads on Facebook where someone has compiled a list of things that happened in 2012 that led to Chelsea winning the Champions League. Like, yeah. for instance, um, them being in the semi-final of a Spanish team 
Um, um, their manager get, getting sacked halfway. Arsenal winning this game. Chelsea winning that game. Just a load of, you know, them being in an FA Cup semi uh, final as well. Just like 2012. There's been a thread of things that has shown that it looks like it's Chelsea's destiny to claim the uh, Champions League title as well. And they could be looking at it like they have nothing to lose. And, and like, they'll be going all out for it. Like, yeah, let's be honest. Like, they face a tough, tough Atletico Madrid team. Yes, they didn't play the best, but they eased past them. And Chelsea, I think Chelsea are going to go into this game with no fear. They went against the no, soon-to-be no, champions of, 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 like, England. And to be fair, they look comfortable. They look comfortable in, the, like, yeah. in the in a game in the FA Cup. So Chelsea go into there with no fear. Real Madrid go into there with no fear. But just right now, I have Real Madrid going through. Jed, who do you have going through for this game? Um, I have Madrid going through 3-1 on aggregate. So I think 2-0 in Spain, 1-1 at the bridge. Yeah. So, guys, tell me what you think about that. But let's move on to the second game. And that is... PSG against Manchester City. Manchester City today uh, won the cup. No, was it the Carabao Cup? Carabao. They, listen, because they change it every like what two, two years. It's yeah, hard yeah, to remember. Yeah. <laughs> so Man City were crowned the Carabao Cup uh, champion today. Gonna probably win the league. Uh, PSG struggling in league on, but when it comes to the Champions League, they've showed up in every game. Like they've had two very very tough ties with Barcelona and Bayern Munich, and it went through that. They're known as the chokers, but they don't seem like choking at this moment in time. But Jed, tell me, what do you think about this game? I still feel like this game is maybe not as... I still think it's 50-50. I don't think it's a straight down the middle. I think either I think either team can blow away the other. I think PSG could easily go and trance Man City, play them apart, and Man City could go and just put in a solid performance and blow uh, PSG away. I, I unpopular opinion, but I'm not a fan of um, Pep's setup without a striker, without a focal point. If you saw this against um, um, Tottenham mm-hmm. today in the final, oh, yeah. you could see they lacked that final bite of whoever was at the end of the crosses, the through balls, you know, the tappings. I have a question for you. Do you find a way with this, like this, the whole Sergio Aguero thing going on? Because it's not like Sergio Aguero's past it. It seems like Guardiola just wanted to completely froze him out, like freeze him out of the team. I, I, from from what we've seen in the last three to four years, I don't think Pep is a big fan of Aguero at all. I don't think he's the hugest Aguero enthusiast. Um, Pep would rather put Phil Foden or Sterling or even De Bruyne as a false nine than play Aguero, who I feel like you could still put him up up front and you he will produce because it's Sergio Aguero and he's a world class player. So the fact that he has this world-class striker sitting there and he's playing these other force nines who are naturally not strikers is mind-boggling to me. And I believe if they take that approach, which I think they will with PSG, I don't think PSG's backline will be having too many problems. Now, no disrespect to their front three of uh, Sterling, Foden, Mares, or whoever the Brenner's pushing up, but I think you need a killer instincts for this PSG team to kill them off. That was what was lacking with uh, Bayern Munich in the yeah. last leg. If they had Lewandowski, probably a completely different game. But you're actually promoting up there who is like uh, Bambi on ice and it's just all over the place. So... You you mentioned the Bayern tie and a lot of what Bayern does is similar to what Man City do. And like the, like the one thing that uh, Bayern did really well was try to overload... Um, Man uh, try to overload PSG um, in the wide areas and get overlaps and pullbacks and cutbacks and you know and I know that's Man City's like biggest strength like they do for days yeah. you can see no. the Bruyne again on uh, an overlap one, or two, like like cross like, into like the box tap him every like repeat, every single again. time and that will be a deciding factor the wide players is going to be a huge thing because I look at the full like like the full backs are PSG and I'm not convinced. But the question is, can Sterling produce his um his best moments? Can Mares produce his best like best moment? Because because they will get these players isolated one v one on a number of occasions. But yeah. they need to deli- but 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 they need to deliver. Yeah. You like you seen against Tottenham every single time it went out there. It was just oh, oh, close close block saved by the close. goalkeeper. Yeah. It's like when you get to these European stages, you need to be ruthless. Yeah. But then on the other hand, but then on the other hand, hand. I can flip it. 
and go, Man City are going to play high line. They, that's oh. what they always do, and that's what they and like like that's what Guardiola has been built yeah. on. Killing Mbappe it has he, he would die on that sword, but killing Mbappe has been killing everyone who tries to die on that sword. You know, yeah. like him playing off the shoulder. What are you gonna do with him? The two decided players mm-hmm. for PSG, Neymar and Mbappe, and to me those are to me the two deciding players in this tie, because if they and, play, and that, yeah, go on, go on. The difference is that. Mbappe, you give him three chances. He's burying at least two. That's the thing. There's no nonsense. The PSG probably won't have that much of the ball. The less City have the ball. But once the midfield get a hold of that ball, Di Maria, anyone, Neymar, and they play that two ball in behind, it's Isn't it's probably a game it, set match. Exactly. And like I I look at a player like Neymar and Mbappe. If they play to their fullest. I'm sorry, I just see PSG destroying this Man City team. Because what's going to happen is PSG are going to do what they did against Bayern. They're going to sit back. They're going to try to withstand pressure. And to be fair, they didn't withstand pressure well. Just how Bayern just didn't, like, like, I couldn't kill them off. But I look at this Man City team. Can they really kill them off? Like, me watching them the past few weeks, they don't look as rootless. They have fullbacks popping up and scoring goals, which is like, they're like, which is cool. But they're not going to have their fullbacks, like, what's his name, in the six-yard box all the time. They're going to sit back and try to withstand uh, the pressure. And once they get them on attack with Di Maria, with Mbappe and with Neymar, it's just like, it's, it's going to be a complete madness what they can do, you know? So there's a lot to think of. There's a lot to have. But I also feel that this is PSG's year. I feel like they've come, they've had so many shortcomings, like so many old, like, Horrible failings, what? 4 nil up against Barcelona, losing it in the manner that they did. Losing it to a young Manchester United team. Uh, what's it called again? You, you had the game the last season in the final, losing it there. The final, yeah. I think it's about time. I think it's about time where you have Neymar answer the price tag the, yeah. the, 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 like he was bought for and, and like deliver this team the trophy that they solely crave. Both teams. This, uh, is, this, this, is, this, is, for, yeah. this is for both teams, to be fair. Yeah. A uh, quick question: Is it Mbappe fit? Because we know he hobbled off in the Liga game, and I think him being out would be detrimental. Now, Jed, do you know what it is? This is well, we're we're in April time now, and have you realized something now? When when players seems to go down injured, if this happened in maybe yeah. October, you they'll be missed for three four weeks. I just have a feeling right yeah. now is that. No matter he's what, gonna he's pain, gonna play. No what, he's, yeah. Like, the, it, yeah. like it's gone to a point right now where you're just gonna have to risk it all. You're gonna have to risk it all to win it. If Mbappe doesn't play, yeah. the whole game changes in so many ways because they don't have Thanks, yeah. a player that can do what Mbappe does. Like, no one runs in behind yeah. Icardi, um, Moise Keane. They don't. No, Moise Keane. No, they don't. Know? They don't. They don't have that. But um, how would they set up? Would they set up the four-three-three? Isn't it? Yeah, four, two, three, I, four, two, four, yeah. Four, three, I think they go for. To, to be fair, they had a bit of a four four two going on um, yeah. Yeah. against Bayern, where like it was Neymar, Mbappe, you just want to leave Mbappe like, in the middle. Uh, yeah, Mbappe in the middle, and like have Neymar kind of drop a little bit deeper, but also playing in, in the middle to protect him. Mm, yeah. yeah, and Di Marina, and like Di Maria plays out wide. But he also right. drifts yeah. his inner in at times and, and, and cheats the defense by not tracking back, but also leaving space yeah. uh, uh, for him to exploit. The, I think they'll set up in a 4 4 2. Pereira, Dan, uh, Danilo Pereira, is he back playing in the midfield or is he dropping to centre back? Because that's one thing that they've done and I think it's been a very shaky move. They better hope Marquinhos is fit. You know, they better yeah. hope, like, my, like, Marquinhos is gonna gonna be able to because Pereira in the defense he's just not a, a defender just, at all yeah. against Bayern they looked very very shaky yeah, but very shaky yeah Jed I have, to, I have to ask you who do you have going through PSG or Man City I think my gut is telling me PSG Ooh, I think PSG will go through maybe four two on aggregate I think. Ooh. I could see PSG going through. Yeah. Uh, this isn't a game I-, I see being KG. Both teams, all they know about is to go for it. too much quality on the yeah. pitch on both sides. 
not for them to be goals. I see goals in this game, but I see PSG going through here. Just that bit more Champions League know-how. And I just always have this thing for teams who lose um, in the final and they go on a good run the next season. I just always have a, like have them to win it. So, yeah, I have I, PSG I, I, going I through. Think I, went, I think I went with a team that I think has more bites. They, they have a more potent attack where I think they will finish the chances off. I think City will bombard them with chances. But I don't think... And maybe if uh, Aguero starts or they actually have a striker on the field, either Aguero or Jesus, I think there will be a lot more chance of them finishing. But if you have Sterling and Mahrez, they'll create 100%. But their chances finishing, but, I don't know. But they also have Gunnar Gao maybe could pop up with goals, which he has this season. Kevin De Bruyne, yeah. Phil, like, Phil Foden. They got goals in them, but I, but, but, yeah. but I, I know what you I mean. I don't think I, you I, can always depend on your midfield to do your heavy lifting you, of goals. You, 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 exactly. You always want that one player that, okay, when like like when the goal gets yeah. tough, you you can turn to and be oh. like, he's going to yeah. get us the goals. And they don't seem to have that. But again, they're a really good side. Guys. Look, to, yeah. Uh, first of all, Man City are actually unbeaten against PSG. Won one and drawn two against PS to PSG. That might be something. Yeah. That might be a bit of luck for them. But again, they they have, they haven't played in the yeah. Champions League team since 2016, where Man City went through. And I remember it was Kevin De Bruyne that um um that scored a goal to put them through. But guys, tell me what it's you think. Midfield that make the difference. So. Uh, listen, yeah. maybe listen, maybe he, he can do that. Man City could get the treble. It's a battle of the oil money, you know. Either team can go through. <laughs> it, it, it's true. And, and you, you know, think the winner of this semi final goes on to win the Champions League? I think yes. So I think I I I, I know what you feel, <laughs> but I think so. If if if, 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 if 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 I'm being honest, just both teams just seem so strong at this moment of time, and yeah, but. Again, we'll get to the winner. We'll get to the games. Jed is going to be there with the review of each leg. So, we'll definitely, so definitely catch us there. But, guys, tell me what you think. Who do you have winning? PSG, uh, PSG, Man City, Chelsea, uh, Real Madrid. Let us know, guys. <laughs> Comments down below. Thanks for watching. This is Box of Box Football. Like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time.